So today would be my deadlift and bench day. I worked up to a top single for the day. Didn't really care about RPE, just kind of used what weights I had. Then I did some back down sets. And this was, my top single was about 500 pounds. And then my working weight was about 455. I say about because the tires are about 70 pounds each. And then I'm using a mixture of pound and kilo plates. I don't want to crunch all those numbers. All right, so what's up with these tires? Why not just use iron plates? Well, the first reason is these tires look badass, and that's why I'm using them. Second reason, they act as bumpers. And the third reason, well, sounds a bit conceited, but I am the strongest dude in this gym, and these tires are weight, and I need all the weight I can get, so I'm gonna use them. And tomorrow, I'm gonna be squatting with these tires, and I actually need that extra height to unrack the bar. You'll see my setup in that next video. So I'm standing on a block. It's a few inches thick, so that takes away some of the added height that the tires add. And actually, I think this is pretty close to standard 45 pound deadlift height. Some of you might be wondering why I'm wearing knee sleeves while I'm deadlifting. Even though I'm using tires, I'm still trying to control the weight down to the floor. And especially because these tires bounce quite a bit. And I'm wearing knee sleeves because the past couple of weeks I've been deadlifting in my garage and even when I use iron plates, not the rubber plates, I wanna set the weight down gently. And I was scraping the top of my knees. The knurling on the bar was scraping the top of my knees so much that I was starting to scab up. And every time I deadlift the past couple of weeks, I'd break the scab open and I'd bleed all over the bar and my top of my knee would be bloody. So I put the knee sleeves on. I don't really like them, but it prevents me from scraping up my knees. So this log weighs 235 pounds empty with the end caps removed. The end caps weigh 25 pounds each. So I'm gonna go for my top single today at 285 pounds, empty log. Hey bro, can I get a lift off? Easy peasy. So for those of you wondering, where can I find this log? This is called a big dog log. And back before Rogue and Titan Fitness, this was the log that you would use at strongman competitions unless it was a homemade log or a Slater log. And I don't think big dog is in business anymore. So your best bet of finding a log like this is on Craigslist, someone getting rid of an old one. But I don't believe they're doing business anymore. So there's no website where you can go buy this thing. The t-shirt that I'm wearing is the Spartacus t-shirt available at rascalapparel.com. I've been helping Omar slang some t-shirts out of untamed strength, even during this whole coronavirus deal. So support Omar, support your boy, go pick up a Rascal Apparel t-shirt. So at Untamed Strength, we call these things the grilled cheese sandwiches. <clears throat> it's just a few steel plates welded together. They're 155 pounds each. They're used for farmer's carries. I've got 30 pound chains on each one, bringing it up to 185 pounds per hand.
Give it a good one. Give it a good strain. That's it. Stay tuned for my next training videos where I do some squatting, some pressing, lifting up some more odd objects. Hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time, always remember, Tread on time.